How to install Fluid ROM based on Android 11 on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Fluid ROM based on Android 11 on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Now, as you can see, I do have the Redmi K20 Pro, which is running MIUI 12.0.4.0 based on Android 10. However, the process will remain the same even if you are in a custom ROM based on AOSP. You just have to skip the steps which are not applicable to you. What are the prerequisites for this video? Well, you need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have TWRP recovery installed. How do you do that? I have separate videos for both of those which can be found in the description of this video. Next thing, make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60%. Do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30%. Also make sure you have a backup of all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device because if you run into any boot loops, encryption issues, we are going to do a format data from TWRP, in which case you are going to lose all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device next thing in case you want to have a look at the features of this rom we do have separate videos for those as well which can be found in the description of this video first thing we'll go into settings and then you'll go into password and security remove your screen lock fingerprint and face unlock once that is done you can go back go into me account and remove your me account once that is done go back go into accounts and sync and remove your google account those of you who are on custom roms based on aosp you won't have the option of removing your me account once you have removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you reboot your device once now why are we removing all these accounts and security measures we're doing this because we're going from one rom to another and i don't want you to be locked out of your own device now what are the files which you need all the files which we need are linked in the description of this video so for starters you need the fluid rom itself and do note that this is the version of fluid which comes with google apps baked in as you can see the name mentions g apt they might have a vanilla build as well but i am using the g apt build next thing you need to know is whether your device is encrypted or not so for me ui you can go into settings password and security privacy as you can see encryption and credentials it says phone not encrypted now those of you who are on custom roms based on aosp you can go into settings and then you'll go into security tap on advanced and once you do tap on advanced you will see here that encryption and credentials it says encrypted so that was my pixel 3 and that device is encrypted now based on the fact whether your device was encrypted or not you may or may not need disable force encryption so if your device was not encrypted like my device was not encrypted i will need the disable force encryption file again if your device is not encrypted then you need the disable force encryption file and before you ask me fluid rom is based on oss or open source software vendor which means you do not have to install the vendor explicitly it is baked into this zip file of fluid next thing we need to do is we are going to turn off our device and once the device has turned off we're going to press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till we see the twrp recovery boot logo once we have booted into twrp we will go into wipe advanced wipe and select dalvik cache system and data that's it once we have selected those partitions swipe to wipe once that is done tap on the home button next up we will go into install and now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded the files in case you downloaded the files on your phone directly they will be in the download folder for me i have transferred them manually so they are in the internal storage of my device the first file we're going to select is the fluid rom itself and then we are going to swipe to confirm flash do note as i mentioned earlier this has your vendor baked in it also has google apps baked in as well those of you who are using the vanilla build and you want g apps well once you select the vanilla build after that you will have to add another zip file and select the 
G apps file which you want to use for Android 11. Me personally, I use next G apps and I will link them in the description of this video. The variant of next G apps which I use is the stock variant. Now once the file has flashed successfully, make sure you get this message which says script succeeded, result was one. Next up, you're going to tap on the home button. Now, those of you whose device was not encrypted, which includes me, we need to flash disable force encryption. So we'll go into install and select the disable force encryption file and then swipe to confirm flash. Now with disable force encryption, the important thing which you need to make sure or which you need to ensure that it is patching some f-stab. So as you can see, patching f-stab in Windows slash etc which means disable force encryption was flashed successfully we will tap on the home button now there might be a scenario wherein you do not get the message or you do not get a file in patching the f stab section in that case you're going to mount mount the vendor partition manually and then go back into install and install disable force encryption and this time it should patch the vendor slash etc f stab file for now, we're going to select reboot and then select system. And bam, there it is. You can see we do have the Fluid ROM boot animation on our Redmi K20 Pro, which means our device is booting into the ROM. The first boot up will take some time, so you have to be patient, but it will not take longer than five minutes. If it takes longer than five minutes, in that case, you are in a boot loop and you have to perform a format data. How do you perform a format data? While you are in the boot loop, press and hold volume up and power button. You will boot into TWRP, go into wipe. On the bottom right, you will see format data, type in yes. Do note that once you perform a format data, you are going to lose all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device. So make sure you have a backup of all those things. And as you can see, we are on the home screen and you have dark theme out of the box we can go into settings and security encryption and credentials says phone not encrypted which means disable force encryption was flashed without any issues next up we can go into settings go into about phone and now if i tap on the android version bam here it is fluid rom version is 1.2 build is official android version is 11 security patches from february 20 21 and the kernel they are using is fluid extended and there it is peeps that is how you install fluid rom based on android 11 on the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you